Hello, everybody. We're back here. Uh, yeah, EW finally did it. They finally said it out loud that they do not consider herd management to be an exploit. They, I told you guys a long time that I would never touch it again unless they came out and said that it was okay and it happened. Now, that doesn't mean we're necessarily going to be returning to it, but they came out and said it on live stream. Somebody asked the question today and Jaxi Beard's response was that it's not, it's not considered cheating and that they don't see it as cheating and that he's surprised it's even a conversation. So they finally gave us the answer we've been asking for. We've been asking so long just to give us a straight answer as to whether or not it's an exploit or not. And they finally did. Not going to lie. It caught me off guard. I didn't think they were going to just say it like that. I expected them to keep completely silent on the, uh, on the matter, but they have confirmed that they don't consider it to be cheating. And at the end of the day, I think regardless of definitions, what the developers say is what is really like the, uh, the thing that matters. So hopefully that'll help a little bit with the, uh, the arguments and stuff that have happened because of HM. They have finally come out and say that they, they don't consider it to be cheating, which is nice. I, I really was hoping that they would talk about it at some point. I didn't really care if they said that they liked it or didn't like it. As long as they finally gave us a straight answer, and they did. It really shocked me, though. I did not expect it to happen. So I, I'm talking about it a little bit in uh, the Great One video tonight. If you guys didn't know, uh, in fact, I need to do that real quick. Let's add great one number 31 to the great one counter because I got him to show up last night at 1,200 kills. Uh, the video for that will be later today, and in it, I kind of go more into detail on uh, what Jaxie said. I show the clip and everything and then talk about, like, uh, what we're going to do going forward. Uh, we will never return to being, like, full HM on the channel. But if you guys vote to have it, if you guys want to see it, we'll do it here and there. But it, it will never be like the focal point again, because I, I have a lot of other ways that I just really enjoy playing now. So it'll never become the focal point again, but we might do it here and there because they approved of it now. And that was the big thing that was holding us from going back. And I also kind of talk about the situation and why I quit in the first place anyway. So I definitely recommend uh, watching the video. It's going to include our best great one to date, as well as uh, a little bit of an update on how things are going on with the whole HM conversation. Because uh, some pretty big stuff happened. It, uh, to be honest, I never expected it. Normally, Expansive Worlds is very quiet on all, like, controversial issues. This is the first time they've ever come out and actually taken a side. Um, I'm not saying which rack it was, Chicken. Let's just say... I am very happy with it. The great one that we got is gorgeous. I I screamed so loud. Like, I, I think it was the most insane reaction I've ever had to a great one. Felt so good to bag it. Um, not in this stream, uh, Peaceful Pug. In tonight's video, we'll show off our new great one, Moose. I got the video going live in exactly three hours. So in three hours, you guys will see the video for it. I'm excited. I am super excited. I, I cannot wait to show you guys it. It's going to be pretty crazy. Is the great one already shot? Yes, no, there. I've got the video coming out at 6 o'clock tonight. 6 o'clock tonight is when the uh, video will release. So exactly three hours from now, 6 p.m. PST. Yes, essentially, Blake. They, they essentially confirmed that it's okay and they don't consider it a cheat. Yeah, that's the that's the announcement they made. It took me by surprise. Like, uh, Johnny tagged me in Discord. He was like, he was like, he was like, dude, Jaxie just said on stream how they feel about herd management finally, which is really uh really nice. That rack and fur combo looks so good. I know, Ben. I'm so excited. Oh, ah! Oh my gosh! What is that? Oh my gosh! You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh! That is holy. That is just, woo. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is holy. That's 
Wow, we just broke the, the rare streak. Oh, let me go back and look. I gotta see how many kills has it been since I got a rare. Guys, this is the first rare in 1100 kills. Oh my gosh. No wonder it took us so long to get a rare. The game was just waiting to give us a good one. Oh my gosh. Holy. Hey, Faith, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Your reaction scared the crap out of me? I mean, I, can you blame me? <laughs> that thing's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And you know, I think we gotta, got, we gotta take that down with something different. No, it's not a super rare. That one will score bottom of the estimate. It, it's gonna score about 248. Pieballs typically score at the bottom of the estimate, so yeah, that will most likely score down there. Oh man, what do we use on it? I mean, we could go iron sights with the Sarugi. Oh my gosh. That really caught me off guard. I was just here having a conversation about uh, about EW's announcement today and then boom! Absolute monster. You know what? We, we gotta do something silly. We gotta do it. Um, there we go. Let's uh, stock up on this thing a little bit and try to take it with the Sarugi and Iron Sights. No, Blake, we're not going to be doing herd management with Moose. Uh, to be honest, I have no interest in doing HM with Moose. Because uh, it, it's just... It's just not fun having to chase the Moose around when they slowly are depleting the respawns. Like, we already have enough trouble keeping track of Moose. I couldn't imagine doing HM on them. So we won't be doing herd management on the Moose, but uh, we might do it with some other grinds in the future now that it's been confirmed that it's okay. What was the EW announcement? EW essentially said that herd management is not cheating and that it's fine to do. They finally said it out loud, Dusky. Somebody asked Jaxie a question about it in the stream today. Uh, they asked if if herd management was cheating and Jaxie was like, no, I, I don't even know why that's a conversation. Like, it's not cheating and we don't see it as cheating. That's essentially uh, the quick of it. I've got the full clip if... Uh, you want to see it? It's the link that was just put in chat by Nightbot. Honestly, I never expected them to speak out on it. Because they've never talked about it in the past. Like, they've never... They've never really uh, interjected into any debates in the past. It's your last stream. How's your day? It's been good, Brandon. It's been good. It's been really awesome. Uh, between getting a great one last night and now this announcement by EW and this big piebald in front of us, things are going amazing. I'm so happy. Are they still doing two maps a year? feel like we haven't got any hints or anything at all. Uh, yeah, Maddox, I'm sure they are. We don't usually get hints until like a month before it releases. And typically they release like mid to late June. And I mean, it's not even May yet. I would imagine in May we'll probably get some hints. You're betting another great one? I hope we get another great one. That'd be amazing. I mean, I this has been a lot of trophies in a quick time. So I got that great one. And then I found a diamond shortly after, which will be in the video as well. And this is less than 10 kills later, we got a piebald here. The map is just absolutely going crazy with trophies. Oh, I thought it was for a second too, Dusky. That's why I kind of freaked out a little bit. I thought it was a super rare at first, but no, it's definitely not. This rack cannot make diamond. Can I get the irons from here? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was like a 110 meter heart shot with the iron sights. I will take that. Oh my gosh. I am not gonna lie, I was scared I'd mess that up. But we got him. Hey Kathy, how's it going? You made it just in time to see that insane hard shot. When do you get your first badge? Uh you have to be a member to get badges. You wanna see a super rare? No, it's not a super rare. This is the, the 240s rack. It'll score bottom estimate. That's how piebalds usually are. Oh, that's so beautiful though. Look at that gorgeous moose. This is the best rare moose I think I've ever killed besides the Mela Diamond. Yeah, 248, that is so nice. Holy. 
What a monster rare. I really wish it would have been an albino, but I will take a giant piebald like this. That is super awesome. That is super, super cool. 248.60. That guy, he's close to diamond. Like, he really is, but not quite at the same time. But that's really cool. That is super awesome. Go ahead and save that replay. What a way to start the day. That's like the second moose we killed. Um, hold on. Let me scroll up. Uh, Alexander, I tried to become a member, but it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work? I don't know why it wouldn't work, man. Um, did you, it, were you able to click the join button? Like, did you, or were you able to see the join button or was it not there? Uh, yeah, Kathy, they did. Uh, today somebody asked Jaxie Beard a question about herd management. They were asking if it was considered cheating and Jaxie essentially just said like, no. We don't see it as cheating, and it's completely fine to do. So that ends the argument of whether or not it's okay to do, because the developers themselves are okay with it. Which is honestly great to hear, because I didn't expect them to ever say anything about it. I didn't expect them to take a negative or positive stance on it. I just expected them to be silent like they have been on everything else that's happened in the past. You're on mobile and the join button isn't there. Uh, thank you for the super chat once again, man. Uh, click the link. There's a link in the chat right now that will lead you right to it. And if you can't get that link to work, then you can use the link in the description of the stream. Both of them should take you to the, uh, the memberships. Oh my gosh, me too, creative. I, it, that was the last thing I expected. Like, I jumped on to get ready to, uh, edit the Great One video. And... That's a nice four. And I saw a uh, message from Johnny uh, that was tagging me saying, like, Jaxi just confirmed that HM is okay. And I was like, wait, really? They actually said something about it? That just blew my mind. Uh, the big announcement, Gradunsky, is that EW confirmed that they're okay with herd management. They essentially said it's not cheating and that it's okay to do. Yes, that sucks, Hollow. I could not imagine how much that probably hurt. Tips for beginners? Uh, hunt near water. Make sure to aim for the kind of chest area of the animals. That's like two of the best tips I can give you. Hunting near water will make sure that you are seeing a lot of animals that are in their drink zones. Drink zones are a lot easier to uh, hunt because they're in the open more. And you know exactly where to go. And then uh, always aim like behind the shoulder when you're trying to uh, take a shot. Have you shown the great one yet? We already killed the great one last night, Tragic. It's a, it's a video. The video will be out at 6 p.m. So exactly three hours from now. In three hours, we will have the video with our, our new great one, Moose. And I got to tell you guys, it is the most amazing great one I've ever killed. I, I was just so happy and ecstatic when it spawned. I, I was so happy I accidentally, like, hit my microphone and knocked the pop filter off and I had to, like, readjust it and everything. <laughs> Am I going to do HM again? Not, not nearly as much as we did before, and I'm actually leaving it up to you guys to decide. Um, basically, I, I'm going to talk about it in tonight's video. In the, uh, the video with the, uh, holy, dude, Hunter320, thank you so much, dude. What an insane donation. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Holy. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You have no idea how generous that is. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I figured it out, but it doesn't take Apple Pay. Oh, that's unfortunate, Alexander. Well, maybe you'll get gifted one if you're if you're active in the chat. Whenever people gift memberships, there's a, a good chance that you'll get one if you're uh, active. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, we're not going to do a lot of HM, Kathy. So what I'm probably going to do is we'll primarily do the content I've been doing. Just like I I'm definitely not going to herd manage moose or black bear because I just would not find that fun. Um, we're still going to be doing lots of streams with Brobra, just kind of running around and shooting random stuff. But we might implement like one HM grind here and there or maybe do like partial HM. 
uh, just to mix the content up, because I always had a lot of fun with it. We only stopped it because it was kind of controversial, and there was people that were stopping being my friend because of it, which the more I, I kind of thought about things, it was probably stupid of me to even stop doing it because of that reason. Because if they were stopping being my friends over herd management, then they probably weren't that good of friends in the first place. You have the gifteds on lock. Hold on. Let me let me scroll up. Jebba, thank you for the gifted, dude. Thank you so much. And that gifted went to Johnny. <laughs> of course, Johnny got the gifted. Johnny always gets the first gifted the second that he uh, doesn't have a membership anymore. And then Connor, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Oh, that is a male. I was going to say, is that a male? It is. It's a little feller. That guy is freaking adorable. And no, my last great one was not on live stream. I was actually in the uh, in the Discord with Brobra, uh, Nathan, Jebba, and Caitlin, I believe. And everybody left to go to Brobra's uh, fishing stream, except for Caitlin. And literally five minutes after they left, we got the great one to show up. But yeah, as I was saying, so if we do go back to herd management, we're not going to do it full time. It'll be like a... We'll just do it a little bit. Because I know that it's not everybody's favorite thing to watch. And at this point, I've kind of grown a love for a lot of other grinding styles as well. Like, I have a lot more fun just shooting every moose I see in these zones up here. Same with Black Bear. And so I, I definitely wouldn't manage them. We might do it on Whitetail at some point. But uh, we're not going to do it as heavily as we used to. But since they confirmed it's okay now, I think we'll definitely implement some... HM content into the uh, channel again, but definitely not all of it. So don't worry. I know a lot of you enjoy the the other types of videos and streams. We'll make sure that there is a good mix of everything here on the channel. I want uh, I want there to be content for everybody to enjoy. So we're not going to go as extreme as we did before, but I'm just so happy they finally uh, confirmed their uh, thoughts on it. Oh, that was a bad shot. My gosh, you guys are just slamming the super chats. Holy. Uh, Alexander, thank you for the super chat once again. I have 20. I asked my mom if I can use her card. Hey, you don't have to, man. You don't have to. But like I said, you don't. Being a member is not a requirement. I appreciate all of the uh, the super chats and stuff. Thank you so much. Might want to pin the message saying what we said. Uh, wait. I can just pin one of the Nightbot messages. There. There we go. I thank you once again, though, Alexander. I really appreciate that. What's my favorite great one? The moose. The moose is my favorite great one. What was the big announcement? The big announcement is uh, in the pinned message, uh, Ian. EW confirmed that herd management is not cheating and that they're okay with people using it. Which uh, is honestly the last thing I expected them to say. Uh, Brie Marie, thank you for the six months as a member. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Actually, I think I'll put up a poll in the stream just to see uh, what everybody's general thoughts are. Let's get a little bit of a poll going. There we go. There's the poll. Let me know your guys' thoughts on it. Hey, bro, bro. Fellow human chatters, indeed. They heard about the underground dodo fights. Yes, the underground dodo fights. They, 
They're quite a quite a problem in the world. Got like 22 diamonds and 2,000 kills for Red Deer, so yeah, it seems about right. On average, if you're just shooting everything, like uh, a diamond every 100 kills is pretty average. Uh, we haven't fully decided yet, Tyson. If we do, it won't be the only thing. Let's see. We got a couple more down here, probably. What are you doing? Gosh, some of these moose, man, they're possessed, I swear. What happens when you're a member? I'm going to be one. Uh, you get a bunch of emotes to use that are custom to the channel. You get a green name in chat to make you stand out more. And uh, you get access to some extra videos on the channel, some extra Discord channels. There's a lot of perks that comes with the membership. Upside down moose moment. Yes. Very upside down moose. Hey, now. Chill. Chill. Can you please turn around? Come on, Moosey. Boom. Take that. You had a heart, but now you don't. Uh, the Discord is open to anybody, Eli. Uh, it's in the pinned message, Jake. I've got the uh, the command for it pinned in the message as well as the uh, clip where they were talking about it. Imagine another great one shows up this stream. That would be insane, Toby. It's happened once before with Moose, though. There was one time when we first started grinding Moose where we uh, got a great one. We got our first great one, Moose, in 820 kills. And then we had another one show up 130 later. So it wouldn't surprise me if we could eventually get that to happen again. I mean, with as much as we've been grinding these moose, it's bound to happen eventually that we'll get another quick grind. Yeah, I don't think so either, Dustin. I, I've never felt that way. There were some times where I was going back and forth on my uh, opinions on it and my feelings towards it, but after a while I was like, yeah, I, I don't think it does. Look at that guy. That's a big boy four. How many moose kills this grind and how many great one moose you got? Uh, we've got, what is it, five great one moose now? We've got five great one moose and we just got a great one last night. Um, video will be up tonight. So we're currently only like 20 kills into this grind right here. Possibly even less. I'm going to be a member. Can you just put a link? Uh, the link is in the description of the stream, uh, Catfish Boy. Am I going back to HM? Uh, probably not fully. But possibly a little bit. I haven't decided yet. I haven't really made my full decision. I'm kind of going to see what everybody's opinions on it are first. We don't need a little can command. No, we don't, Johnny. We definitely don't. If I'm doing rotations for Red Deer in an hour, about how many kills should I get? I mean, it's really going to depend on, like, how you grind, man. I was getting, like, 100 Red Deer kills an hour back when I did it, but that was before the spook changes. So nowadays, I could probably only get, like, maybe 70. But, uh, that's if you're using claiming tents. If you, if you only use one tent per zone or, like, one tent per lake, then the numbers are going to be different. Got the Diamond Coup to 152.6. Nice creative title. That's awesome. When did I get the great one last night? It was, I think, like 7 p.m. I wasn't streaming. I was just uh, grinding while hanging out in Discord. And I was getting ready to hop on with Brobra for his angler stream. And then the great one showed up. So I spent 40 minutes like uh, getting the perfect uh, screenshots and everything on it. <laughs> yeah, Ian. I'm just happy that they finally spoke on it. The way I've always seen it is, at least in terms of EW announcing stuff like that, 
I've always felt like they should speak out on it, regardless of whether they uh, speak out in favor or against it. I just wanted them to say something, and they finally did, and it just happened to be what I was hoping they would say. So that is awesome. Okay, yeah, that's pretty... Jeez, 224 votes, and 60% of you agree with them. 33% don't really care. Does it Say that it doesn't matter to them. And 7% don't agree. That's that's pretty crazy numbers right there. That, that is wild. But I can't say I'm surprised. Is it not the Fabled Ash and Great One? No, it's a new one, uh, Logan. It's not the same one. We got a brand new Great One. Oh, we got a main menu. We got a new great one last night, and uh, the video we will be going live in two and a half hours. In two and a half hours, we will have that video up. And man, I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited. Guessing a two-tone with typical rack. Good guess, JR. You never know. You never know. I did say that it was my best ever, so there's a few different combinations that it could be. You guys already know what my favorite racks and fur types are for the most part. So I'm sure you can kind of guess uh, through that. There's that male right there. And you know what's wild? Like that great one showed up at the perfect time. Like it showed up at a time where I was starting to lose hope. I thought we were going to have the same like a uh, problem that we did on Medved and we are kind of having the same problem we're losing a lot of our respawns just out of nowhere so yeah I was getting kind of worried that my moose were just gonna completely disintegrate into nothingness and then he showed up what's the average kills for a whitetail great one usually between 1,000 and 2,000 but it can be a little bit less or a little bit more. You never know. I was too far forward. I was too far backwards. Oh, we're doing lovely. We're doing great. What zone? The one that I'm standing in right now, Blake. The zone that I just shot those from, uh, this one over here, that's where he was. That's where that gorgeous great one was. I am so excited to show you guys the video. I was able to get him in a pretty awesome area to kill him. And I gotta say, for the first time ever, I took a great one from a feeding zone. I got him out to a feeding zone and took him from there. And it made me so happy to be able to do that. Zachary, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. I don't know what else to do. I'm like 10k in on my uh, great one... I'm about to give up. I have 18 diamonds, 9 rares, and I don't know how many trolls. Jeez, only 18 diamonds and 10k kills. That's insane. That's really unlucky, dude. Hopefully you get him soon. Yeah, David, they did. They did. Jaxie confirmed today that uh, the team doesn't see it as cheating. And that it's perfectly fine to do, so. Just glad they finally said something. What kind of great one was it? It was a moose. A beautiful, beautiful moose great one. At 1,200 kills. Honestly, I'm just happy it didn't take uh, like 4,200 like it did for the last one. Or 4,500, I guess, was the last one. Two males here. What? Dude, we haven't had two males here in ages. That's crazy. How many kills am I in? Uh, currently like 25, maybe 30. Because we got a great one last night off a of stream. And so we're into the next grind. And we've already got a diamond and a uh, rare. Is 1,200 kills counting your last great one? So 1,200 kills between... The Fabled Ashen and our new great one. Exactly 1,200 kills between them. So, uh, yeah. It took 1,200 kills to get this one. Pretty wild. I'm just super happy it wasn't a, a 4,000 kill grind again. Like, uh, I was so worried it would be another long one, but we got him pretty quickly. New rack or one that I've got? I mean, 
You guys will have to wait to see. I don't want to spoil too much. I've already I've already given away quite a bit just by saying that it's one of my favorite great well that it is my favorite great one I've ever killed. So there's only a few combinations that that could be. And I'll tell you one thing. I've seen a lot of guesses in chat and one of you got it right. At least one of you got the uh, guess right, but I'm not going to say who because I don't want to give it away. But one of you got it right. Yeah, I don't see a male over there. Non-typical spruce, that'd be pretty crazy, cold killer. There's so many combinations that look amazing. Okay, yeah, no male. There's a male there, though. Nice little four. Uh, no, Dusky, I don't think you did. I didn't see anything, at least. It could have been Nightbot just being weird. Oh, SRP stands for Silver Ridge Peaks, Brandon. Oh, he's floating. No floaters allowed. Am I still grinding Black Bear? I will be getting back to the Black Bear grind soon. Um, having this uh, great one moose show up at the most random time ever when I didn't think that I was going to get it kind of made me think that that could happen with bear. So I should probably get back on the grind. You never know when it'll show up when we don't expect it. Uh, Alexander, thank you for the uh, super chat once again. She said I can be a member. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. You'll get to have all those awesome emotes and stuff. Uh, yeah, Jaden, I can show you the moose setup. It's pretty much just in the north, but keep in mind, everybody's map's a bit different, so the setup that I have may not work for you, as your herds may be primarily in different areas, but I've got most of my tents and stuff in the north, with a few, like, down here, kind of like the right middle. Give you a little time to screenshot it if you want. And there we go. Another four. Yeah, we are on some type of hot streak. We got the great one, a diamond, and a giant piebald, and now there's just tons of fours everywhere. Ah, oh, it didn't... Okay, I didn't hit the neck like I was hoping. I might have been too high there. Yeah, I was way too high for sure. I didn't even get spine. Come on, go down, buddy. Boom. There we go. All right, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, exactly, Johnny, exactly. Like, it was such a, such a, like, a weird situation because, like, you could literally be doing it without even knowing you're doing it as well. You think it's a Fable 2 tone, uh, Game Slayer? Well, I said that my two favorites were, or I'm going to say top three. I said my top three favorites were the Fabled Birch, Fabled 2 tone, and then the Fabled Speckled. So... It's going to be one of those three. I'll tell you guys that. It's one of those three. That is all I'm going to say, though. Nothing else. That's, that's as many hints as you guys get. It's one of those three variations. Because it's one of the ones I really love. Ooh, nice, Caswell. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited for the Angler update. Uh, I was reading up on it. There seems to be a lot of uh, cool stuff that they are tweaking and changing. At least from what they revealed. Um, I shot it last night, Nicholas. Um, I like to shoot my great ones the second I find them. Otherwise, it kind of gets rid of the hype from the moment. Like, the adrenaline's gone if I wait till the next day to shoot it on stream, you know? I think the only one that I will shoot on stream, maybe, is the bear. But yeah, I shot it the second that I found it. And the video is going to go live tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So two and a half hours from now, the video will go up with our, uh, our beautiful great one. I'm so, so excited to show you guys it because it's, it's my new favorite great one that we've got. Can I like... Ooh, yes, we can. Let's go. Love to see it. 
Yeah, Kelsey, it was about HM. It, it, to be honest, though, that's a pretty big announcement because we never expected them to ever talk about it. What did I shoot him with? I decided to shoot him with the 44 Magnum. Uh, I saw a lot of people mentioning the 44 Magnum last time. So I decided to use the 44. I did the 44 Magnum with the Red Raptor Reflex Sight, and I, I took him out of a feeding zone. So I'm very, very excited to show you guys. It was such a cool moment. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? Nothing there. All right, let's do a little quick reset. Yeah, exactly, Tragic. That's always been my thought on it. Oh, two males. There's a male over there, too, I think. He's all kinds of stuck. Come on, guys. I smell smoke. I gotta shut the window. I think somebody's got smoke outside. Never mind, we're good. My wife's just got the burn pit going. All right, dude, all three of them are right here. I've never seen that. All three of our males are at this exact zone. That's wild. That is wild. He ducked his head down. He's evasive little moose. That is wild. Jeez, Archie, that's unlucky, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you'll get him to show up soon. That's a long time without a diamond. What's happening with Angler? They're going to be getting a content update soon, including a bunch of like tweaks and fixes and things. Tell us what rack it is? No, I'm not going to say what rack it is. Wait, I hit all three of the males. Holy. I didn't think I hit the last one, but yeah, we did. We got all three of those males. That's insane. I, I could have swore we missed the last one. That's insane. No, they haven't specified what kind, uh, Daniel. They just said that there would be an update soon and that it would include, like, uh, some content as well as some, uh, balancing changes, bug fixes, etc. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff that, uh, is coming with the Angler update, it seems. Let's get this guy's attention. Oh, he's alerted. I thought he wasn't because he just did a... Uh, he just continued drinking right there. Yes, I do hunt IRL. Uh, yeah, Logan. I think that uh, combo looks really nice. There we go. Hey, at least you got a, a great one, Carrie. I saw your uh, great one red deer the other day. That thing looks awesome. Congrats on that. I know, right, Noah? He, ju he just took the extra time to get a little bit of a drink before we uh, plopped him right there.
Let's see what we got right here. Couple dead moose. That's what we got. Wait, where's the other one? Ah, oh, right here. Right in the puddle. <laughs> oh, man. Little puddle guy. Are there multiple Great One Red Deer Rex? Yes, there's four of them, but they all look very similar. I've already done a face reveal before, uh, GWP. I did one quite a while ago, actually. Let's see what do we got in this zone, if they're even here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Unfortunate. It happens, chicken. It's one of those things that's pretty random, man. How many moose great ones do I have? Currently five, Will. We have five moose great ones. Hopefully we can make that six today. I'd love to get a quick grind. Because all of our grinds have been... Decently long besides two of them for the moose. Actually, all our moose grinds have been above 500 except for one. And most of them have been around the 1,000 mark with the exception being that crazy 4,500 kill one. Oh yeah, Carrie, the Ashen is pretty cool. It's grown on me. It's definitely grown on me after we got one. After we got that fabled ash and like it, it definitely grew on me a little bit. Let's see. Hold on, let me read up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I like I like I've said before in response to uh drawn and and dynamic. I I can totally see like why some people think that it affects them and some people don't think that it affects great ones. I can totally see like depending on what you're looking at and where you're looking and how extensive your amount of like stuff that you've been able to see and like the data and stuff is how you could form like one opinion or the other. Um but yeah, I kind of agree with tragic too like I think part of it is just that, yeah, people that use a lot of herd management, they tend to just grind a lot. I feel like it gives people motivation, or at least that's what I've seen in the past. Like, people that never grinded before felt more motivated because they had diamonds everywhere and chances to get lots of super rares. And so, naturally, you'd see more great ones, which, honestly, that just further makes it harder to tell if it does affect them or not. I personally still don't think it does. I mean, we have done really well without it. And, uh, if, think of it this way also, if herd management affected great ones, right, then that would mean that, like, your, your kill counts from other maps, like, wouldn't count in your grind, right? So, technically, if you go by the logic of it affecting them, then that would mean that I got my last great one moose in 300 kills, and then the one after it in 1200. So, that would mean that I had a 300 kill one, and I had never shot a single moose on this map. That's part of the reason I, I just really don't think that it affects them. I think it's completely random. From what I've seen after 31 great ones, I really think that they're random. Yeah, dynamic. But again, I'm not trying to change people's minds. I'm just giving my opinions on it. I can, like I said, I can totally understand both sides. I get the arguments on both end on both ends. It definitely can be hard to tell. It can be tough to tell because everybody's got different uh, different data and reference points that they've looked at. And it honestly will be pretty much impossible to know if it does affect them. Unless the devs came out and said it. But I, that's one thing that I don't think they ever will say. They, they did come out and say that HM's okay to do. And that it's not cheating. But I don't think they'll ever actually tell us what it affects. Even though that would also be quite nice if they could just, like, 
just give us the details, but I, I could see why they wouldn't, and to be honest, I kind of don't want them to, because then we would know for a fact, and then it would skew everybody in one direction or another. So I think it's probably better if we don't know. What's my biggest kill IRL? Um, to be honest, I haven't really ever got anything, Emil. I've gone hunting a few times, but never had any luck. But you know, as they say, that's why they call it hunting, not shooting. Idea of a grind is that the more you kill, the more chances you have for them to spawn. That's why I think that HM isn't the only way to go. Just kill all the males, more chance to get one. Yeah, I think it, I think the argument could be like any way. I definitely think that even if it did affect them, right? If you're not doing it, you're still going to be killing more than the people doing it would. So you'd probably get it in roughly the same time anyway, just by killing a much more massive amount of males. I mean, I would never want to herd manage moose again. Back when we did it, it was such a rough grind. And I've had so much fun with moose just being able to shoot everything, so... Yeah, we did get the Great One Pancake. We did. A uh, video for that is going to be up in about 2 hours and 15 minutes. About 2 hours and 15 minutes from now, we will have a video taking down our next Great One. Oh, it definitely did, Hollow. It definitely did. Which is another one of the reasons. I'm just so happy that EW finally spoke up about it. Hold on, let me see. What do you mean, Wino? I have you have have you ever watched one of my streams, Wino? Do you understand that I buy and me, we've talked to, to each other quite a bit. We've talked in each other's streams. I've said many times when I was starting HM that I buy premiums was the like king of it. So you clearly have not watched my content. If you're kind of coming and saying some stupid crap like that. I've given him tons of credit throughout my streams. Anytime that somebody asks like where it originated, I talk extensively about how it was discovered by Jaxie Beard and then people like I buy premiums increased it. I think you need to go get out of here with your little simping attitude. Oh, Crow, he's already dead. <laughs> nah. I have to address it when somebody comes in with some stupid stuff like that, knowing, uh, knowing darn well that I've already talked about it plenty of times. And like I says, he's watched enough of my content. You clearly haven't if you didn't see that. Because I said it many times on the Whitetail Grind. I said it many times that I buy is the king of uh, herd management and that he perfected it to the absolute max. The quick crying about it. I can tell you he wouldn't approve of you simping anyway. There we go. Why no, I think you need to go back and look at how you were talking to me first. Not the first time I've seen you come in here like that. I literally did, Tragic. Yeah, I literally did. <laughs> oh, man, some people. Some people just don't know anything about you. But come in acting like they do. You love to see it. Got two over there. Yeah, just two. All right, perfect. Probably Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> there we go. Was hoping I could get my first band hammer game two seconds too late. How's it going, Chip? Yep, 
Yeah, some people just aren't uh, very educated, I can tell you that, on, like, uh, the history of, like, uh, different content creators and, like, who, they, who they've who they talked to, what they've done, but feel like they can speak on it with 100% certainty. No, iBuy was never caught cheating, Ben. I buy I buy uses like extreme herd management. If he had been caught cheating, they would have kicked him out of the creator program for EW. Because they, they don't tolerate uh, modding or cheating. You know what time you got the great one in last night's stream? It wasn't during a stream, Hunter19. I got it off stream. I was just complaining that I didn't give iBuy enough credit when I, I talked about iBuy a ton during our first few whitetail grinds. Essentially, he was just coming in here to cause trouble. There's that. Just one male here, huh? One male is better than none males. I had to make it rhyme. I'm sorry. That was bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, peaceful pug. Well, actually, I don't know if EW sees it as cheating. That's one of those ones that's kind of borderline. I personally see it as being cheating, and I'd never use it myself, and I don't recommend anybody use it either. Because, let's be honest, that would just take the fun out of it, right? I, I feel like that's one where EW's kind of just... What's the word? They kind of just shrugged that one off. As if it's like the least... The least major one. I think there's a lot of like... Grinders in the community that use it too. But yes, I do believe... I personally consider it that. I would consider the pop scanner cheating. Or at least it's like removing all the fun out of it. But again, like if people want to use mods in single player, then fine. Just don't brag about your trophies of it as if they, uh, as if you got them without it, you know? There's a four right there. I stopped using it probably like five or six months ago, Pork Chop. To be honest, I can't remember exactly, but I know it was at least, at least five or six months ago. I think at least. What does EW stand for? Expansive Worlds. The uh, developers of Call of the Wild. Alright, later Dynamic. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Layton's a fun grind for Whitetail, but a bit too brushy for me. Oh yeah, it definitely has a lot of brush. For sure, man. That's one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people choose Rev on Thule instead. Rev has way less brush. Both Rev on Thule and Leighton are so good for Whitetail, though, that there's really no wrong pick there. Holy moosies. What did EW announce? They announced that herd management is okay and that they don't consider it cheating. You missing the Red Deer grind at all, Crow? Not really tragic. Like, we've got all the Great One variations for Red Deer. I, I don't really have any interest in going back to them. Part of what makes me want to grind is knowing that there's still, like, Great One variations that I don't have. That's why we're still going for Whitetail, because that typical rack uh, eludes me. And with Moose, there's... You know, like, over 20 different combinations. And then with the bear, we don't even have one of them. <laughs> but yeah, that's why we don't really do uh, red deer anymore, because I've already got all the racks. And there's only one fur type. Hey, Josiah, how's it going? You didn't miss too much. Um, I stream every day, except for sometimes I'll take Wednesday and Saturday off, Mason. 
Will I ever stop grinding great ones? Probably not, because, I mean, they're going to continue adding them, so there's always going to be new great ones to grind. There'll probably be times where I do it less. Because there's some times where I just don't feel like grinding, you know? there's I go through some periods of time where maybe for a couple weeks I don't really feel like grinding, so I only do it a little bit and do a lot of other stuff like multiplayer hunting and things like that, but... I don't think I'll ever fully stop Great One grinding. It's uh, it's like the ultimate achievement in the game is getting Great Ones and Super Rares, so... Great One grinds are... One of my favorite things to do. Come on, Moosey. Can you, like... There we go. What do I think the next Great One will be? I think probably either Fallow or Eurobison. Really hoping for Fallow out of those two. But I think Eurobison could definitely uh, be it as well. Uh, it's in the pinned message, Spork. They announced that herd management is not cheating and that they're okay with it. Diamond with every gun series would probably be good to continue. I definitely want to do that, Tragic. I mean, we got a lot of new guns now. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's so cute. How do you even get that small? Gosh. There we go. Ah, it's floating. What lake is this? I will show you real quickly, Tristan. This lake right here is Hope of Hope Hope a Lamp Hope a Lampi. Oh, Hope a Lampy? I don't know. Something like that. It's up here. Um, if you were talking about the last lake, it's this one over here. Near uh Kuras Kurasuo? Kurasuo? Something. Words, English. Other or Finnish. I guess that'd be Finnish. There should be a great one, Lion? 100%. 100%. If uh, Verhonga ever gets a great one, it needs to be either a Lion or a Cape Buffalo. What did I... What lake did I get the great one? Uh, let me show you real quickly. We got the great one at this lake over here. Which is honestly a pretty awesome lake to get it at. That's uh, one of my favorite lakes to hunt. It has been ever since we started on Rev. I got the 31st great one last night off stream, uh, Caleb. There's going to be a video going up in about two hours that showcases it. Oh, that is the male. I spotted him and then spotted her and I was like, where's the male? And then I realized that is him. All right, we're getting a bunch of tiny males now. So we had a couple runs where there was tons of giants, and now... Oh, he, he moved! Okay, we got him. Guys, I still can't believe we got that giant piebald at the beginning of the stream. That was crazy. That was absolutely insane. That's got to be, like, one of my best rare moose of all time. Like, for real. For those of you that missed it, we got a 248 piebald moose at the beginning of the stream which is my second biggest rare moose of all time biggest one was the uh the diamond piebald or diamond mella not diamond piebald the diamond mella is my biggest that was my second biggest rare moose ever was that 248 piebald gorgeous thank you daniel Yeah, Josh, there's definitely a lot of work that goes into it. Which I think is one of the reasons why, like, a good majority of the community has been fine with it. Later, Master. Thank you for being here, dude. Thank you for being here. There's a male. Um, we probably should back up more. There's sometimes some males that pop up right here that I don't see because I'm too close. Actually, when we fast travel, if we back up, we'll get to see it. We can see if that spot's got anything. 
I want to take the next shot, but it, we miss every single time. Come on. Ah, I shot his nose. Why do moose have to have such big noses? I mean, I get it. They're a big animal, but come on. At least don't let the bullets heat seek your nose. Ah, uh, maybe hollow. I don't know. I haven't played house flipper in a long time. Maybe though. We'll see. We we will see if I if I'm feeling it when they release it. He didn't die. No way. Well, that's unfortunate. He didn't go down. Doesn't look like there's anything in this zone right here that I was talking about either. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Oh, there is a male. Had a feeling there might be. Yeah, I know, duck. Like I've been saying for a while, like I didn't care which direction they confirmed it in. I just wanted them to talk about it. Really nice to see that it was finally spoken up about. No, I don't play classic anymore. What's my favorite great one that I have? Uh, the one that I got last night that will be in tonight's video. That's my favorite great one. I cannot wait to show you guys. I am super excited for that video to come out. How many super rares do I have altogether? 11 of them, JR. We will see, Spork. We will see. Like I said, I'm not revealing which uh, fur type it was or which rack it was. All I'll say is it was one of my top three most... Holy ho... <laughs> oh my... Okay, I've never seen that that happen. I've seen them launch into the air, but I've never seen them launch, freeze, take a step, and then drop. What was that? It's a moose. <laughs> it's a moosel. Oh my gosh. That was something else. Uh, but anyway, as I, as I was saying before we got interrupted, um, there's three variations of the, uh, the, like, three different fabled furs that I really wanted. I really wanted, uh, Birch, Two-Tone, and Speckled. Those have become my top three, and so it's one of those. But I'm not gonna say what antler variation it is. Gotta keep something a mystery, you know? But yeah, just be excited, because it's, uh, it's a crazy one. Oh, yeah, Necron. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you should know I get excited over everything. I, I just naturally get excited easily. I see something weird happen in the game. I'm excited. I see a great one. I'm excited. I see a level three piebald. I'm excited. See a level one piebald? Screaming. <laughs> What time is the video coming? It'll be out in an hour and 59 minutes, so about two hours. It's very, very close to being released. We're probably going to end the stream shortly before it goes live. That way you guys can go and watch the video. Yes, Duck, that is Johnny. That is Johnny. Whoa, I see an extra male. Hold up. There's three moose running off. Well, guess we'll never know what it was. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? Not sure if I said hi earlier. I think I saw you in here earlier, though.
Four. Three. Four. I was hoping there'd be a two and a one so I could go four, three, two, one, but double fours and a three, which is honestly better, but you know, it's not as funny. Come on, little feller. <laughs> oh, we are not on point today. None of those were hard shots. I mean, they were all vitals, but no hard shots. Feels bad, man. Oh, I was zero to 300. No wonder. Ah. Hate it when I do that. I, I miss zeroed. I was supposed to be zeroed for 150. I was zeroed for 300 instead. What was the announcement? Um, they said that herd management is not cheating and that they don't see it as that and that it's okay to do. That's essentially what they announced during the EW stream. It, there wasn't really anything else that they talked about, but that that was a pretty big thing for them to come out and say, so that, that was the announcement. Because that's something that has been debated for a long time, and for them to actually say something was pretty shocking. Alright, let's see. Oh, she spooked. Hopefully there's a male there, and hopefully he won't be spooked. Alright, no male, so that means we can ATV over to these other two we shot. Aw, they died together. That is adorable. You know what? Let, let's let's push them even closer. Aw. Adorable. I love that you can just push them with the ATVs. It's great. Tips on getting diamonds? Uh just shoot the larger animals. Like uh Let's say you're hunting whitetail. Don't shoot the ones, and you will start getting diamonds. Shoot all the twos and threes you see, but don't shoot the ones, and you will see more diamonds pop up. Uh, like if it's something that goes to level five, just shoot the fours and fives. You will eventually see big males popping up, including diamonds. Yeah, but it was still a discussion, uh, Blackout. It was still a discussion. Because, uh, like, by, like, the, I guess, dictionary definition, it would be considered an exploit, but the developers came out and said that it's not, which kind of overwrites anything else because it's their game and they kind of decide what's permitted and what isn't. Which is why it's, like, such a big, like, such big news. What do we got here? Little baby three. Yeah, I do quite a bit of that as well, Ty. I don't grind all the time. I, I do a lot of grinding just to try and get the great ones and like nice rares. But uh, I do a quite a bit of running around and just having fun as well. Because I, I like both play styles. I, I like running around. I like grinding. I like uh, multiplayer hopping. I like a lot of different stuff in Call of the Wild. Am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday, so that's going to be a big maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't always stream on Wednesdays. It's kind of like 50-50. So we, we will see. Okay, no males are back here. What was the weight on the great one? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even look tragic. I did not even look. I was just too excited that I got like a, a great one that I really, really love. And so I, I didn't even look at the weight on him. I know what you're doing though. You're, you're trying to guess what racket is based on the uh, weight. 
I see you. I see you. Don't worry. You guys will see it in the video very soon. It's not that far away. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I didn't get it during the uh, stream, Brandon. I got it last night off stream. How many rares have I had in this grind? One, Ty. One rare so far. Uh, but then again, we're only like probably 60 kills into the grind. 60 kills and we got one rare, one diamond so far. Something in the background. Looks like a female. Yeah, just a cow. Thank you, duck. Really appreciate it. No males here. It's unfortunate that some of our males are just being weird. Have I played DayZ? Yes, I've played DayZ. Is it going to be in the thumbnail? Yes, it will be in the thumbnail, Tragic. Because I, I got some pretty insane picks of it. I got to go aggressive. I got it out into a feed zone. Like, I, I was able to get some really awesome picks of it. So those picks will be part of the thumbnail. Hello? Where's the rest of them? Okay. Apparently male moose don't exist. <laughs> Feels bad. No, that's just a generic one that I've been using for a while, JR. That's uh, from one of the EW provided screenshots. Uh, the one in the like focal, like front, front ground of the thumbnail, that's the one that we got as our first Rev on Tuli, uh, great one. But my uh, most recent one, it's, it has not been posted anywhere besides like in my uh, moderator chat. Oh, yeah, tragic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta... You gotta at least show something of what's in there. You see, the tough thing about YouTube is... If you... If you don't show exactly what's in there and don't say what's in there in the uh, title, people will accuse you of clickbaiting. And then if you do show what's in the title and you show it what you're getting in the video in the thumbnail as well... Then, then people will say that you're giving everything away. So it's a, it's a tough one to balance. No matter what, there's going to be some people that don't like it. So I kind of just do a mix of both types of thumbnails and titles. There we go. Uh, no, Brantley, I haven't. I've heard of them though, but I haven't actually played them. You're working on drawing sardines for a contest. Ooh. I bet that would be kind of cool. Wait, like, uh... Like sardines in a can or like alive sardines? Like, what are, what, are, what are we talking? Which ones are you drawing? Like an open can of sardines or... Or like some sardines just kind of swimming around? Nice, Kaylee. Nice. Hey, one hunting EW announced that they are okay with herd management and that they don't consider it cheating. That is what they announced. Any 
entire sardine themed festival that is wild that is a crazy festival oh two males there the third male at least three males here love to see it Double over there. Will I be able to get both of these? Hmm. Didn't get the heart on him. Uh, I think I missed him. Oh, well. Yeah, exactly. One, uh, one hunting. Uh, you missed a really giant piebald. We got a 248 piebald, which is crazy. Thumbnails are so important because everyone looks at the thumbnails before looking at the title. Yeah, true, Hunter Jones, true. It is quite important. That's for sure. Ooh, that guy's had a rough day. Oh, man. You hate to see it. Jeez. Hate to see it. Poor dude. Yeah, I mean, to the part of the community that was really, like, into it or really against it, Soup, it's pretty big news, like... It's something we've been waiting for for a long time. Like, anybody that's done it or has, like, been against it has been just waiting for EW to say something. And so it's pretty big news that they did finally say something. Let's see. Do we have anything in this herd this time? Will there be a male or will it just be two females again? I mean, I guess they kind of have to render in first. All right. Guess he's not going to. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that one, I don't think. How do I like the Easter skins? I like them. I think they're pretty awesome. It's definitely a little more wacky than stuff they've done in the past, but I, I kind of like that they're just giving us free skin packs like that for holidays. Like, that's awesome. And there was a few skins in there in particular that I really love, like this one right here. Uh, the, the metal on the barrel. This metal skin is amazing. I absolutely love it. I can't believe that they did that as a free one. Like, that. this is totally like a nice enough, like, a uh, barrel finish. To be part of a paid DLC, but they gave it to us for free, so I'm really happy about that. Because it's definitely one of the better quality ones they've done. Uh, probably not entirely, Tucker, but we might do some of it here and there. Um, I, I don't want to make it the focal point of my content, but I do want to include it again. With maybe, I'm thinking what we'll probably do is we'll have a couple normal grinds going and then maybe an HM grind and then we'll also be doing streams and videos that are not related to grinding at all. Kind of like we've been doing just like challenges with Brobra, random multiplayer hunts, just running around. We're going to do a mix of everything because I want to include all types of uh, play styles on the channel because I enjoy all aspects of the game. Will I have a guide for Moose on Rev? Um, maybe at some point, yeah. I like to get a good amount of kills on the map before I do any type of guide. And so I definitely feel like I need to do more grinding. Um, no, it'll stay in the game if you've already claimed it, uh, Papa Chicken. So from what I understand, like, uh, it will eventually, oh, we got a male here again. No way. We got a male here again. Okay. That's a good sign. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, the uh, the ability to get the skins will go away soon. 
But if you've claimed the DLC, or if you've claimed the Hunt Club mission that gives you the Easter skins, then you'll keep them forever. Hey, Legendary Sports, how's it going? You missed a 248 piebald moose. Absolute giant piebald. Pheasant hunting video? Yeah, at some point we could, I'm sure. I think if I do some bird hunting, I'll probably just join Brobra for some of it. That could be fun. Well, you guys can kind of see what I was talking about, how I, I don't really like taking my tents away from zones that have stopped getting males because when they do come back here, then I, I got to do this. This is why I didn't want to undo too many of my zones that weren't producing males anymore. Because eventually they do get them back. Another uncut video with Brobra? That could be awesome, actually. That's a good idea, because, like, normally, like, bird hunting content doesn't really do very well. Not a lot of people enjoy watching it. So that would be a way where I could implement something everybody loves with some bird hunting. That could be cool. That could be quite cool. Hunting some pheasants while we talk about another topic similar to the last one. I think the next topic will possibly be stuff we want to see in the game that does have a chance of making it. Like, more realistic options instead of the wacky stuff we were doing last time. Like, some actual things we'd like to see in the game. You know, things like uh, horses, for example. We could talk about something like that in one of our uh, uncut hunts. Yeah, exactly, Carrie. I do, too. Hey, Queen Lightheart, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Little four again. We need pointers? Definitely, definitely. There's a couple dog species I'd really like to see added. Um, pointers are one of them. The other one is... Come on, put your head up. Come on, buddy. The other one is, of course, like, uh, retrievers. I think retrievers are necessary. Um, a tip for what, uh, legendary? Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, get me out of here! Get me out of here! I'm stuck! Oh no. That moose pinned me in here. Now I'm gonna spook anything that's over here by fast traveling. Unless I can... Ah, nope. <laughs> I am screwed. I mean, might as well just fast travel back to them at this point. They're going to spook when I fast travel anyway. Man. Oh. There was literally nothing here. Never mind. We're good. We're good. They hadn't even uh, got here yet. That's good. When is the Great One video coming out? It'll be out in an hour and 39 minutes. Hour and 39 minutes until the Great One video releases, and my gosh, I'm excited. It's going to be insane, guys. Am I going to do collaborations with any Call of the Wild YouTuber soon? Uh, yes, under NW, I'm going to be doing a collab with Lady Legend soon. Um, tomorrow we're going to be recording. We're going to do our recording tomorrow, and then... I'm not sure when it will be uploaded. Probably the next day. But yes, I am going to be doing a Lady Legend collab. Um, I'd like to get another collab lined up with another creator as well. We'll see how that goes, though. But I know for sure the one with Lady is going to be happening. I already, like, confirmed uh, that she was still good to go for tomorrow. So, yeah, we are, we are going to be doing that collab. Will you ever do a KG collab? I'd like to, Noah, but it's uh, it's hard to get a hold of him. I mean, he's a, he's a very large creator, so his email, I imagine, is flooded with uh, a million different emails. So I, I don't know if he'll even ever see, like, my, uh, my email to him. But if he does and we end up doing it, I'll let you guys know, of course. Doesn't have a join button for your Discord? Uh, you should be able to join the Discord just by clicking the link in the description. 
text him or something? Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, KG has all of his DMs turned off on every platform, so... The only way to get a hold of him is through his business email. Which, uh, like I said, he probably gets literally hundreds of emails a week. I mean, my channel's not nearly as large as his, and... I get probably, like, 40 or 50 just random spam emails every single week. I can only imagine that he probably gets hundreds. So it, I, I don't blame him for not being able to see all the all the uh, emails that come through. Send the smoke signals. <laughs> I know, right? Like I've said, the biggest way to make collabs happen, like when you're not able to actually communicate with them, just let the creators know that you want to see a collaboration. Like you guys tell me all the time that you want to see a KG collab or a lady collab. And, you know, they might not even know who I am, you know? I mean, obviously, Lady does, but, like, KG might not even know who I am, so might not even be thinking about it. Nothing over there. What was the big news today? Uh, the big news was that uh, EW finally confirmed that they don't see herd management as cheating and that they're okay with people using it. That was the, uh, the big announcement they made. Which is a pretty, pretty uh, substantial thing. No, don't do that, Noah. Don't do that. That's one thing that I, I don't want people doing. It's okay to casually mention it here or there, but yeah, don't spam. Because I, I know how annoying that could be to have, like, somebody tell people to spam. It's, uh... <laughs> I've had it happen once or twice, and it's like, it, it never comes off good. Do we have anything here? Man, these moose are being weird, man. We've got some weird stuff going on with the moose. Like, half of them are not at their zones again. It really seems like they kind of go in waves. I've noticed that we get waves where they... Oh, there's a male. I was going to say, we get waves where they're showing up quite fast, and then we get waves where they're just not showing up at all. Moose are weird, man. Moose are really weird. Oh, later, Johnny. Thank you for uh, dropping by. Any particular reason you keep the time around the end of their drink time more likelihood for them to be in their zone? Uh, yeah. I think in most for most species, they are more likely to be there faster towards the end. But I reset the time a lot just to force them into the zone. So I, I don't really have a need to reset it any further back because I know that most likely before the time runs out, I'll have to reset again just to get a stubborn herd back into their zone. Because uh, there's a few zones where they are almost never there immediately, and I have to reset the time to get them to show up. So that's why I don't really bother setting it back any further. To be honest, I don't really watch any Call of the Wild content, Blake. I've seen a few of KG's videos, but I don't really watch Call of the Wild content that much. And I don't really watch a lot of the, like, uh, like outdoors content besides like uh like some of the gun channels like demo ranch and kentucky ballistics how many kills in for the moose grind well we got our great one moose last night off stream so this current grind, we're roughly like probably 80 kills in, give or take a few. So we're not very far into this grind. Uh, no, I don't, JJ. Like I said, I don't really watch a lot of the outdoors like... Uh, well, I guess he's not really an outdoors channel, but kind of like a, like, vlogging, 
messing around the farm type of videos. I don't really watch those types. I watch a lot of the like hardcore gun YouTubers like Demo and Kentucky and them. And then my primary thing that I watch is a lot of uh, a lot of more like comedic stuff. I watch like General Sam. I watch uh, people like Churdley's, uh, Moist Critical, uh, Trevor Wallace, stuff like that. Can we get this guy down? That's a big moose right there. And of course, like uh, Max Mofo and what's it called? Cold Ones, the uh, the channel that he's part of. Why did I get the ATV here? We got a tent there. I do watch some of those, Cole. I do. I watch, uh, there's a couple Pokemon channels I watch. I watch, like I said, Max Mofo Pokemon, because he's hilarious. And, uh, then also PokeRev, because he just does, like, super high-tier expensive stuff that I could never afford to do. <laughs> and so it's fun to watch him open up the, like, crazy expensive things. I've heard of Soup Tragic, but I, I haven't watched him before. I I've heard of him, and I've seen some collaborations that he's done. Do your best moist critical impression. Well, that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty difficult, but uh, I'm going to uh, con condense it down to a little bite-sized uh, morsel for you. There we go. New Xbox setup now just to install the games. Nice, Chip. That's awesome, dude. That is hilarious. Or not hilarious. That's awesome. I was reading the word hilarious, so I said that's hilarious. <laughs> Is that hilarious or is Scarecrow's speaking hilarious? <laughs> All these mooseys going down. Good to see three at that zone though. Come on, give us a quick great one. Three here again, love to see it. Hey, it's not 16. Get back here. Just so rude running from my bullets. I, I don't get it. Why would they want to do that? It's not like it's going to hurt. I mean, oh, actually, I, oh, I missed the hard shot. I lied. That one, Oh, that one probably hurt too. I, I am so, I apologize. I said it wasn't going to hurt and then it did. I mean, the first one felt nothing. That was a hard shot. The other two, though. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I, I know, right? Dynamic, that's what I'm wondering. Like, why would these moose, like, not want me to shoot them? Beyond me. Uh, you haven't missed anything besides a piebald uh, hunter's boy. We got a 248 piebald at the beginning. And then it's been pretty slow since then. Yeah, that sounds about right, uh, Carrie. I wouldn't recommend shooting them down, though. Like, if you if you have a lot of solo cow zones, those are just zones that you never have to check again. Like, I just see those as places that you can completely check off that you'll never have to look at again. It can definitely save you a good bit of time. Oh, that is a stand right there. Two females, no male. All right, then. Find the tracks there, Hunter. Show us the way. Ah, this is the way. How do you do herd management for moose? Uh, shoot the threes and above. Leave the twos and the ones. Are you going to do HM with anything? Um, I haven't fully decided yet, Cody, but I probably will bring back some of it. Uh, I won't do it as much as I used to, though. Because, uh, there's a lot of other play styles that I've really started to love. 
But uh, we might introduce an HM grind at some point again. I'm kind of waiting to see what everybody thinks. So far, just based on the poll in the stream right now, seems like a lot of you don't really care if we bring it back or not, so... Oh, that guy's just wounded. Alright, not gonna worry about him. But we'll see how things go in the next few days before we decide. There's a male. No, Brian, they didn't confirm what it does. Like, they didn't confirm if it affects Great Ones or if it's just Diamonds. The only thing they said is that they don't consider it cheating and that they're okay with it being used. But they never, like, uh, they never specified whether or not, like, what it affects. And I think they're doing that on purpose because I do feel like if they said what it affects, that would... That would probably just cause more problems with people arguing and, like, uh, community division and stuff. So I see why they didn't say, like, if it works for Great Ones or if it's just Diamonds. The only thing they said was that they're okay with it and that it's not cheating. Ah, oh, it's a four. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping that was a five. Yeah, exactly, Brian. It's one of those things that would be nice to know, but I kind of don't want to know. I feel like if they give away too much information, that's when it really does start causing more problems. Where did that one go? Oh, I didn't even kill it. <laughs> oh, man. I missed... I missed the vitals. That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Despondent, I already hear wolves. Oh, man, Brantley. You better get your uh, shotgun out and start a blasting. Nice, Brantley, nice. A level nine. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Just like this four. I like this rack on the fours. Like, I would love to get a rare with those antlers. Could you imagine getting a rare with that rack? Oh my gosh, that'd be beautiful. Especially an albino. I would be so happy with an albino that looks like that. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea like how excited I would be if I saw an albino with that rack right there. That would just be so crazy. Uh, yeah, Drippy, I shot it uh, last night. We we took it off stream because that's when I found it. It's going to be in tonight's video. I do my best, Cody. I try to read everybody's messages. Well, hello there. We got a little level three here. Let's get this little feller down. Nice little hard shot. Love to see it. Hey, Tucker, how's it going? Oh, it did dynamic. That's awesome. Oh, uh, man, I'm jealous. I don't have a good albino moose le yet. I, I've only got a small four. Like, it was one of the fours that's just barely a four. So I would love to get a giant albino that scores like 230s or 240s, maybe 250s if we're lucky. That'd be so good. Man, that'd be so good. Hey, Dusky, welcome back. Welcome back, dude. Might need to main menu.
What's my rarest trophy? We'd have to say that yours is an albino diamond lion. That's crazy, Cage. That's a crazy trophy. I'd say my rarest is my diamond melon moose. Like, that has to be my rarest trophy of all time. A diamond melanistic moose is, like, really rare. That's, that's got to be my rarest. Do we have any males here? No. This lake's been a weird one. Oh, nice, Nappy. That's awesome. I'll have to take a look at it later. I'll have to take a look through the, uh, the trophy shots chat once I get done with the stream. Been a little bit since I've looked in there, so I probably should go and take a peruse through everything. Yeah, apparently, Jeb. <laughs> apparently. Crazy how that's been working. Oh, there they are. They're here now, finally. So we'll shoot this guy and then back up a little bit to get this zone to render in and hope that there is another... Oh, dude, you are... Okay, I'm... kind of concerned. Damn, I missed the hard shot. Because <laughs> why would I hit it when he's doing that? Just another one for good measure. You have a big gold Melamoose? Nice, Carrie. Yeah, the big golds look really good. I, honestly, I think some of the big golds look just as good, if not better, than some of the diamond racks. So to have that on a rare is always great. Love to see it. He was doing something, Nicholas. I, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> he, was doing, he was doing a little jig right there. He was trying to lose his antlers in the moment. Okay, it was just him. The Brober dance? Probably. Nothing over there. All right, let's walk over to this guy. Gonna be a little bit of a trek, but we can get there. Imagine if they add a new mount of wolves killing a coyote. That'd be sick. I would love that. That could be interesting. They don't really have any maps where wolves and coyotes are on the same map, though. But then again, they got some multi-mounts that have ones from different maps. I guess they could make that work. I don't know if they would do it, but that could be cool. Uh, to be honest, I, I want any multi-mounts that we can get. Just give us lots of multi-mounts for the species that don't have them. Please, EW. Please give us the multi-mounts. We need tons of multi-mounts in the game. Okay, nothing there. Think amount of two bull moose fighting. Dude, I would love that. That'd be so awesome. Either that or a huddle moose mount. Huddle moose mount could be pretty awesome. That could be pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, all three of them are right here. It's going to make it tough to get all of them. Ah, uh, no, Carrie, I didn't see it. What's happening with it? I haven't really been keeping up with uh, State of Decay recently. Okay, nice. We hit the four. They need to make more moose multi-mounts. I 100% agree. Moose are like too much of a, a like a notable and substantial animal in the game now to not have a better multi-mount. The one that we got, it, it only has one moose in it. A moose and a quail. Like, we need a mount that has multiple moose. With the fact that they're a great one species now. Tucker, thank you for the super chat. Love you, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. 
right back at you, my dude. Thank you so much for the uh, support. Oh, gotcha, tragic. What great one did I get? It's a it's a surprise, Columbia. You will see in tonight's video. Tonight's video, you will see what we got. You white tail. All right, actually, I think we're going to go ahead and hop off. It's about an hour and 17 minutes until the video goes live, so I want to have some time to go uh, eat some food and uh, get ready for it to go live because uh, it's going to be pretty insane. So thank you guys for being here. I'm glad we got a giant pie ball. Actually, no, I can't go into the lodge because I might show it in the trophy manager. Well, I would go into the lodge and put that pie ball up, but we'll do that another time. I don't want to risk any spoilers for the great one. But anyway, thank you guys for being here. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.